Okay, so here is my robot I've been using to test the Eddy firmware. And I have a laser range finder on it. And I'm testing out this uh, gimbal here to see how well it can um, point the, um, what is it, um, Lightware Optoelectronics. The model is SF02F. Um, it's like good up to 50 meters. It's, it's really nice laser range finder. I really like it. Um, but I'm trying to see how well it will work with this cheapy gimbal here. It's a gimbal's about three dollars off of eBay, and the um, servos are also about three dollars each. And so I have a couple displays here, eight-digit displays, and usually on the left it will be the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the target and then we'll have the distance and then the angles of the servos here. So we will give this a reset and we'll go through a calibration run first. It takes uh, 15 uh, measurements. And we'll turn on a little red laser just to make it easier to see where the target is. I can see it in the little viewfinder here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it on the video that there's little red dots showing up where the targets are. And again, this is the, the just the little um, cheapy $3 gimbal that I got off of eBay. And I cut off these little tabs on the top here so I can mount the um, this uh, expanded PVC here. Just to make it mounting easier, I mounted it flat against this with these cut off. And you can kind of see what I did with the standoffs to give it some tilt. So it went through its calibration run, and we will press the C button on our wireless nunchuck here to save the calibration data. And then it will go through and do the same um, measurements again. And let's put an obstacle right above where it's scanning to see if it will pick it up. Okay, it hit the obstacle a couple of times, so hopefully it will be able to find the obstacle when I have it look for it. So the maximum on minimum the maximum and minimum readings on that are here. It was negative fourteen millimeters and positive fifty nine millimeters or so just about six centimeters. And we will have it look, find the largest obstacle. And there it is, pointing at the box. So it found it just fine. And just so, I guess that's about it. Um, the laser rangefinder is just being used, I mean the nunchuck is just being used as for buttons right now, but it can be used to point the um, the laser rangefinder. So I'll, I'll need to come up with a good algorithm for searching as it's driving, but this is just to try to figure out how accurate this can be. It turns out it's pretty pretty accurate. In, in general, it'll pick up about a two centimeter um, error as it goes through the ground. The, the ground will be plus or minus two centimeters in some spots, but most of the time it reads pretty accurately. Even two centimeters is pretty accurate. So, okay. That's